We are going to demonstrate so that this gentleman knows how to wear the Embleta tomorrow. We've already pre-programmed it to start recording at midnight tonight. It's going to record for seven hours. So even if you go to bed later, it's not a problem. We can knock out an hour or two of movement or data before or if you get up earlier. So don't worry about the bedtimes per se, but it's already pre-programmed. You see a little yellow status light blinking here. At midnight, it's going to turn green and make a beep. That's all you'll notice. The rest of this will be recording. You don't have to push any buttons. You don't have to do anything else. So if I could just have you stand up for a second, I'm going to go ahead and place this on you, the unit. If you could hold that right in the center of your chest. Great. Perfect. So this is the belt that just holds the unit on you. It's just Velcro, so it's adjustable. The belts that we're going to be using, the effort belts, are meant to be worn over bed clothes. So if you could wear a t-shirt or something, even if you normally don't sleep in a t-shirt, okay. that would be great. Just hold it a little bit higher in the it's chest. Yeah, I'm going to tighten it up. Just a little bit higher, right in the center of your chest. Okay. And then each of the belts, these are our respiratory effort belts. So we have a chest and an abdomen. They're all color coded into the proxy. The chest is blue, so that'll go on top. Think blue sky. So we're gonna actually, I'll get you to hold this right here. And then I'm gonna come around here. This blue one. These are adjustable too. These are the reusable belts. The nice thing about these belts from a sleep perspective, it's RIP technology. So it's called Respiratory Inductive Plethysmography. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine has said everybody has to use RIP in their labs. And with the Embleta, it gives you a redundant signal. So if you knock off your nasal pressure cannula later, you still can diagnose and detect apneas and hypopneas. So this is the abdomen belt. Yellow belly is the way I look at it. So if I can get you to hold this here. I'm sorry, let's see. Yep, that's good. Okay, this one will just go around here. They don't have to be tight. You can adjust them. They've got little Velcro adjustments. So, probably. Now lie down to go to sleep. See I'll snoring. be snoring in about 10 minutes. <laughs> but just comfortably tight. My legs are either. No, I... Comfort Never. Comfortably Never tight, not, not too tight. So you have your effort belts, you have your chest and abdomen. This is the oximeter. This fits on here, there's a little keyhole. Okay. And this goes at the top of your finger. If you'll, are you right or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay, so we'd like your left. Okay. Probably your ring finger has the most perfusion. So this one. Oh, your other. Yeah. So we're going to just. I'll go ahead and put this on you. We'll make a little template tonight, so you can just stick it back on your finger. So this is checking your oxygen saturation and your heart rate. See how this lines up with the little keyhole there? Okay. This has a diagram picture of your finger. So it's going to go like this, on top of your finger, just over the bed of your nail. And this... If he's going to hold? Yes. We'll take it off before you go, and I'll give you a second one. And normally what I do is I have the patient put a little piece of tape right here as a little strain relief, and then I'll actually feed this up under here, and we'll tape it here. I don't have my tape with me right here, but that's but, it. But I'm going to get the tape. Yes, I'll give you the tape. It's in the back. So we would tape it here at your chest and then make a little strain relief loop just so it's not dangling. Okay. And you're set up. That's Ready it. Ready to go. And in the morning, you just take off the belts, just bring the unit back in the bag, and we're good to go. We'll download it and um, see if you have apnea. I was just recording on this guy. It's recording oximeter and heart rate, effort through your chest and abdomen belt. We have built-in body position, so it'll tell up, right, supine, left, right. Okay. Um, airflow through your nasal cannula. This is the last piece. Airflow yeah, and snoring. Waiting. Yes, this is the one everyone's waiting for. So, and what I did was I trimmed these little tabs just a little. So we'll just stick these up in your nose, around behind your ears. Excellent.
and just a little lanyard there. Comfortable? Very good. Yep. So you're ready to go.